Hi there, it's Janice Thompson from jazzledazzlecraft.co.uk. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I live and work in Scotland. I'm just getting myself a bit organised. I'm not organised as usual. I forgot to get my iPad ready so I can see the chat. So I'm just getting that up just now. Off it and then I can watch it. So it's way too hot in Scotland today. I'm just making a space here. It's not too hot, but it's very hot. And so I've come back in, I was outside but I've come back inside to cool down. Now hopefully you can hear me alright, I do have a fan going. So if you're about, just come in and say hello. I'm just uh, getting myself organised. That will be the day, says you. So no fire on today here, I'm afraid. Hi Nessa! Nessa, are you in Wales, aren't you? How? What's the temperature like there? Right, so I was playing with Shaded Summer on my Facebook Live this morning, so I thought I'd take it, keep it around and it is, I just got a bit too hot, I was enjoying sitting out but I thought I'm going to come in for a wee while and I've got a fan on my craft desk here so I thought I'll just cool down. <laughs> so I was using this this morning and so I thought I'll take it up a notch and I've got all this extra black card around so I thought you know what, it's, it's left over from another project um, so I thought I would uh, yeah, it was all left over from my team retreat when I was chopping up kits for everybody. So, I, I the technique that I learned years and years ago with Black Magic is that you stamp your white heat emboss and then you colour that embossing with your alcohol markers. So our stamping up alcohol markers are our blends. So I'm going to have a go. I haven't tried, just thought I'd look for some company and have a go. So it says there's five people watching but only one person said hello. So if you're about, say hello. But I guess some of you will be busy. It's meal time in the UK so you might be busy doing stuff like that. But anyhow, I've got some... I've got black card blanks and I've got some black layers. So I'm going to try this out. So... I've got my best, my embossing buddy. I'm just going to take the static off here. That's any greasy fingerprints, etc. That will take off. And I've got the two big flowers from this stamp set. Now I think it will be a bit lonely like that. I'm not sure. We'll do the first one just with one flower and see how we go. I'm just going to do one at a time because I don't know how long. So I've used my embossing body. I'm using my Versamark ink now. And I'm just going to stamp this up. I want it maybe a bit, I don't know. Or we'll just do it like that. Just, I enjoyed playing with these this morning. My Facebook Live is, is newly uploaded to YouTube, so if you don't watch me on Facebook, you will see it later on on YouTube. So I need a scrap, actually. Got an old piece of bread paper here. And just... Is the fan too loud, Nessa? And I 
we're just going to sprinkle over with our white embossing powder. so much on this side so just flick it off a wee bit. That's better. That's it. That's fine now. I'll just pop that down. I'm just going to do one card at a time. Oh maybe not a fan on when you're using um, embossing powder. Take it down to the gentle one. So if you've come in say hello so that I know I'm not all alone. Let me know where you're watching from. Got embossing powder everywhere now. Right, so if heat, I've put the embossing powder on. I'm just going to get my heat gun and melt this. Oh, 2 30 in the morning in Australia. Oh, my goodness! Miller Unit 123, have you got a different name? So, I'm just let that cool and I'm just going to get some blends. Let's go bright. I think we'll we use our what about a bit of magenta madness? Not had that out for a wee while. And what will we cover for our leaves? We could have that shaded spruce. I don't want that one. It's too. Should have had these ready, but it's me never ready. Have I not got just jade? No. Just jade. Janelle, welcome Janelle. And what do you think we'll have another colour in here? Two our flowers, two different. I'm on a bright to do summer and sunny. Right, we'll see how we get on with this lot. So again, you can blend because the alcohol markers, so we'll do a wee bit of just put some of the dark at the bottom, you know, where the shadow might be. Now be very gentle and just use the tip. You might even want to prefer to use the bullet tip because the embossing can is a little rough. It, there must be a bit that's not properly embossed here, but it's okay. Um, let's see how we go. And then just take, yeah, it is a little rough, so don't press hard because you don't want to damage the tip of your pen. But if you do it just lightly, it's fine. And then just go over. I've got embossing powder on my surface and that's my problem. Now I can't read your comments and do this. <laughs> it's great fun this but do 
if you've got new blends be careful with them because it can fray the tip a little but if you've got some old ones use them the thing is it dries on there but if you go over the lines a little bit it doesn't show that badly So you can play about and you can you can bring in more of the dark one where you want it. And then just go over with the light. It, it gives you a very different finish. But I like it. I've done it quite a few times but I never tire of it and I've got a few videos what I should do is put, but I thought I would use a more you know a current stamp set and I would just use the dark uh, the dark what's it called <laughs> Abidal Delight in the middle look that's just quite delightful isn't it I think we'll just stick with the pink flowers and the yellow in the middle. Let's not make this too complicated. Eh? Right. So again, you can use the bullet end. Or you can use the brush end. Has to be alcohol markers, normal markers won't work on this. But you can blend all your colours together, you don't have to stick with them in pairs, you can, you know. Let's pop a bit of yellow in the middle of this wee flower. And then we've got our wee bud here. Well, a sharpie would work, yeah. It's alcohol, isn't it? These blends are gorgeous. The good thing is these are all, you know, the stamping up colours and they all coordinate together. So you can do this and then you can coordinate with your other stuff. I'm just, just putting some bits of the dark and then I'll just blend it all in with the lighter shade of the... Oh, it's Melon Mambo I've picked. I thought I was doing Magenta Madness. <laughs> I've got Melon Mambo, but that's good because it's a good colour. And then just blend it out over... It doesn't matter if you go over because it does, because you're on black, it just doesn't show. I would try not to, but it really isn't obvious if you do go over the line a wee bit. Isn't that beautiful? I will have a practice with your Sharpies then. I do like my blends. So this is just jade I'm using for the green. I'm using the darker one on the stem really. And then I'll do a bit of play. Just put some bits of dark on the leaves. I'm wondering whether to just, so you could leave those little heads there white and then that's quite pretty isn't it? 
so I don't know just on its own on a card it's actually just quite nice like that I'm not quite sure what to do for um, a greeting I rather like it I wonder what we've got that we could stamp for a greeting that's got I wonder what which ones are quite thick that then I could do um, Where's the ice cream one? It's got a couple of good. Hmm. Happy birthday, quite big. The thank you. Let's try the. Th if we don't try, we won't know. Hi, Linda, and you come. Nice to see you. Yeah, just having a bit of a play here with the black magic technique. It's something I do. Quite, well not quite a bit but I've not done it in a while but I have done it before I've got a couple of videos out with it it's all there the first one that I did I think is still my most watched video so I thought it was worth doing again so I'm just going to use this thank you from the sweet ice cream because it's it's got a nice thick font so that it should be able to I should be able to use that as my sentiment so let's what do I need emboss somebody the heat's going for my head thanks Linda appreciate you all coming um, it's not the best of times in the UK it's kind of tea time people coming in from work children needing fed and all sorts so I think most people will be busy in the UK but I've got uh, Janelle in from Australia, Nessa in from Wales and now Linda in from the US of A. Your morning coffee Linda. So let's just pop our thank you here. Now this is probably not my best plan because probably shouldn't be putting heat back there but you know me like to live dangerously. Where's my scrap paper gone? Why did I not keep it handy? Oh, I did. I think I did. You're cooking. Oh, thanks, Nessa. I quite enjoy them live too. It's quite, you, when people are here, even if it's just a few people, you just don't feel like you're talking to yourself. Look, there's... I'm getting into a rare old mess, but that's me. Right, where's my tub? Let's put this back in. So what are you cooking, Nessa? I like the interaction because sometimes you guys help me. If I'm struggling for an idea or not sure something's going to work. Mm. We'll see how this goes. I'm not sure there's enough, but we'll, we'll manage. Right, let's just heat up the heat tool. Pasta and chips and salad. I'm, I'm not even into cooking today. It's too hot here. Cold meats and salad like it or lump it in my house <laughs> didn't do such a good of, job of getting the powder on that thank you but I'm pretty sure it'll be fine so let's do something a bit fun here let's take our dark kind of halfway down the letters I hope you're talking to each other, chatting to each other because it's kind of hard for me to read while I'm colouring. Yeah, oh, pasty, a pasty, right? Okay, so that's just like heating it up, not too, not too labour intensive. And then I'm taking the dark, dark daffodil yellow on the bottom, but just blending where they meet. just gives a kind of fun it's 
So there you go. Now I don't know if I want that straight on to black or if we should mat it mat it onto Melon Mambo. I'll get a piece and see what you think. Give that a border of Melon Mambo and then put it on the black. I think that I think that would work. Well, it's it's Melon Mambo I've used, Linda. So I'm that's why I'm just going to stick with the yeah. I'm going to cut and chop that down. Now, I don't even know what size this was. Was it? It was nine and a half. So we'll just go 9.9. It was scrap card, so I'm kind of making it up as we go along here. Yeah, that's fine. And then it bubbles. I've forgotten. Thirteen point eight, so we'll make that fourteen point two. I'm making it up as I go along here, so pro you know you probably have to make your own measurements with what you have. This is more about the technique than the actual card itself. Might as well have two layers while we're going. this on. Making sure it's all nice and stuck. Linda's it California California you are. I've forgotten. Sometimes can't remember where I am. Sunny. I'm having hot and sunny Scotland, but it's only hot and sunny a few days a year though. The problem I've got here is I've got embossing powder all over me here. Right, so there's a card. Have you got time to stick around for another one? Will we have another go? This time I think I'll try the other one. It is a bit magic. Hello Caroline. Welcome. Right, so where is my here it is. Where is my here it is? <laughs> You're glued to your seat. I'm actually needing another coffee but there's nobody here to bring me one today. Not good. Righty. We've got this other stamp. And I think we'll put the we'll do all the stamping first. So that so we'll do a thank you in the middle. 
What if I do my classic wee composition that I like doing? The sentiment in the middle and then stamp around it. Oh, hi Cindy! Is it coffee time? Did you bring me one? So I've just put the thank you in the middle and then woo well, we use both of these. Got this one, I'm not so sure it's not got so many flowers on it. I quite like this because it's got more flowers in it. Let's see what we can do. Put this one kind of like that. Hope I've not overlapped that tea on the thank you. No, I haven't. Good me. Well done. We'll pop round this corner and do something similar. Coffee for me, please. Hot and wet. Oh, I don't know whether to use this one. I'm just going to stick with this one. I love to debut that one again another day. Do you know sometimes? Look at that. The heat is melting my brain. halo there but we'll be able to take that off I think. Be a bit careful Janice. You can't probably see what I'm doing. I can barely see myself. I'm just going to leave it at that. You having coffee on your deck, Caroline? Where in the world are you, Caroline? So that looks fine, right? Let's get the ink lid on, get the scrap out. British Columbia, oh gosh, so Canada's in the house. USA's in the house, Wales is in the house, Australia's in the house, wow. We're a wee international band, aren't we? Right, so let's see what happens. Maybe shouldn't have the fan on when I'm doing this because I might dry it too quick. Hope put it on. Less is more, more is more. Hard to get a wee bit to. Right. <laughs> yeah, we all get on fine, don't we? It's great. I'm going to come in and get rid of that halo, but I'm going to get rid of this powder first before it ends up all over my craft room. Because that can happen. Ask me how I know that. Right, so we have some weapons to sort this, except I was using them for something else. So let me see, what have I got? I've got my tweezers. I usually have a watercolour brush to knock these bits off. However, I was for a design team thing, I, I actually was using my watercolour brush earlier and I think it's still damp. So that wouldn't be the best plan here. Let's get rid of that. Yeah. If I knock that, they should. Still got it where I don't want it, and I've got I flicked off more than I intended to, but it will be fine. 
it'll be all right during the night. I need to get rid of this. I don't seem to have... Where are my brushes? It's annoying when you know you've got something and it's just not there. Texture. I'm going to lift this and give it a struggle before I even do my heat tool. Okay, I <laughs> see the messy desk underneath. <laughs> oh, right. just going to have to go with it as it is or else it's just going to take care Nessa enjoy tea time right I'm just going to heat this up you can faff about for hours but look I've got a few splatters we can always add some splatters and make them look as if they meant to be Just let you enjoy the magic. Hi, Christine, and you come off. You're not too late because I've got a whole card here to do. So you're all right. I've been here for a wee while yet. Definitely, Linda. It will be bling or splatter. One of the two. So, yay. There we go. So, let's... Will we stick with... I actually think I want some blue in here. I like some blue. Blue, blue. Blue, blue. What about some balmy blue in there, too? Um, I'll see. We'll see what happens. So I'm just doing a bit of black magic, Christine. This is our. This is the first card that we did. I've, I seem to have embossing powder everywhere. Anyway, will you come in? And it's very warm in here. So I didn't put the fire on, but if you need a fire, let's bring your own. <laughs> right, so let's get cracking. So we've white and we've white and heat embossed. So it's like it's kind of like a plasticky melted thing, heat embossed. So again, I'm going to stick with the melon mambo here for the large flower. So I'm just going to stick some dark on. I'm not overthinking it. Just popping some in there basically. This is something you can take your time and just enjoy doing. If you've got, it needs to be alcohol markers, if you've got new ones be a bit careful. Probably this is a good one for using your old ones on. Because if you're a bit heavy handed you could damage the nib of your blend 
So just be a wee bit careful and a bit aware. My heat embossing is not as good as it could have been. I think because I had my fan on, that blue is not going to show up very well. Let's try something darker. Not night of navy, that's not going to work with black, but what about misty moonlight? Actually, no, what about Bermuda Bay? Bring some granny apple in as well. It's playtime. What oh, did I say I was going to go with Bermuda here so that it's going to sh show up? Put the yellow in the middle. Try to remember to pop your lid back on as you go, otherwise you, they will dry up fairly quickly because alcohol evaporates pretty quick. And then I'm thinking the granny will work for the greenery against the Bermuda. I was just thinking that the Just Jade is a bit close. So let's add some green to we see what it's going to all look like. dark. The lips of these, do you know what? Look, I've got a dark, this is the light isn't it? And I've got a dark lid on the light. Only me. This is, this is done this one, it's old so I'm just going for it. Use it up. Let's see if you've got a brand new one, be a bit careful. That's bit the darker looks better, doesn't it? Shows up better. And then we'll go for a wee Bermuda baked flowers. Okay. But hey, <laughs> nobody expects much else of us, Linda, it's okay. We're getting old and daughtery. The colour in a bud tends to be a bit more intensive, so I'm just going to make them all blue, dark Bermuda. Any more buds? Any more buds? Any more buds? And then a bit dark here and there. Blend it in with the light. Looks okay, doesn't it? I think that's leaves down there. No, it's not. It's the edge of this flower, so we'll just... Right, and then dark melon mambo here. You might, If it's a new blend that you're using, use the bullet end because it's stronger. some darken and then just blend it out with the light it's just a bit of fun and I think it is magic
So what's everybody up to? Is anybody crafting at the moment? It's just me. Just going to stick some yellows to the middles. Just for quick, it's actually quite nice to just sit quietly and just take each flower as it comes and work it. But because I'm filming, I'm do it. So I'm going to do yellow on the bottom here. Daffodil delight anyway. And then I'm just going to take my dark again, the same as I did on the other one. And just do that on the top. I'll maybe go over it again with the yellow to blend in. Should have done the, the pink first, I think. You're going to wash your car, well that's, I think that, our car, him and doors is away with the, the car today, so, because that would be a nice job to cool down, wouldn't it? So if I just blend the yellow in the middle and just get that wee kind of blended orangey bit in the middle. There you go, multicolour, thank you. Organising the craft area is just too much like hard work. And again, just colour in and release. Now you don't have to be too careful because the alcohol doesn't show up on the black. That's the whole point. Obviously, you could spend time blending everything. Obviously, I don't really have that much time. You like watching paint dry for you guys. Although to be fair, I quite like watching people colour. You see it's starting to come to life. I'll just go around and do all the greens. But I always say that and then always miss something. So just I had this set out this morning when I was doing my Facebook live and I thought let's do something else with it because it's quite good to show people that there's more than one thing you can do with a stamp set. I really want to know I just open the box and play but I've actually put all the things I got on my pre-order in a bag. Um, just feel it's just a bit soon. I don't. I, I'm sticking with the dark granny apple green here. I think my light one is run out of colour. There. Oh no, there's another bit of stem there. I didn't do a giant pre-order, I'm actually going to do another pre-order later this week. Um, I just did autumn, I, I couldn't, at the time I just, Christmas just wasn't figuring in my head at all. See I'm doing it again, the light lid on the dark pen. Yeah. Organising skills, when they were being given out, they completely passed me by. I must have fallen asleep in the queue or something. I can organise people, but I can't organise things. Funny that, isn't it? I can organise an event. It's a light one, yes, yeah, so I can just... 
So it's just a lovely way to get colour on black, isn't it? I kind of like it. And I hope you like it too. Is this something you might have a go at? See, if you do, will you share in my jazzle, dazzle, whatever it's called. I give a group a name and then I can't remember what it is. Jazzle, Dazzle and Friends Craft Share Group. Are you all in that? If you're not, look for Jazzle, Dazzle and Friends Craft Share Group on Facebook and ask to join. It does ask you a wee security question, but you'll manage to answer it. Are you in my craft share group, Caroline? I'm so lucky there's so many people in it now. I don't actually know who's, remember who's joined and who hasn't. Well, please, please, please look for me. There are, if you hit the show more button in the description box under this, there is a link to it there. And if you just ask to join, I'll, I'll let you in. As long as you've, I, it's only to stop like robots and um, maybe unsavoury people coming in. If you've got an interest in crafts at all, I will let you in. And we don't stick to just paper crafts. It's not all about stamping up. I'm happy for people to share whatever crafts because it does inspire us all. Oh, hi, Deborah. I didn't know you were here, but welcome. Welcome, welcome. And you're moving craft space as well. Do you know what? You start these things and you just wish you hadn't, don't you? <laughs> but it'll be worth it once you're done. I just hope we never move out of here because keep in mind I don't fancy that at all. However, I could do with living in a bigger house. So. I'd love to have a dedicated craft room. What I've actually got here is a wee corner in the bedroom, but do you know suffice to my needs. Right, I've got that flower and that flower. Um, I don't know if I want to bring any more colour in here. I'm not. I think we'll just do them pink. Or could they be yellow flowers? What do you think? Will we bring in something else? Grouse work. Lurking Deborah. <laughs> ah, hi Linda. We're, I'm coming to the end, but there's still a few minutes of blathering going on here. I'm going to pull an orange because it's summer and because I can and it's bright and cheerful. I love a flower bed that's got lots of colour. Good old pumpkin pie. It's such fun, Linda. You just have to have a go. Just fun, fun, fun. Two Lindas in the house. Linda from California and Linda from Scotland. Dead. And I've got all those blends to put away. Look at me. Look. One card. Here we go. Right. I'm just going to stick this on here. Now, do I do splatter white or see? I'm, I kind of feel that's. Or do I get some sequins and give it some. What do you think? Some. Sparkly bling to distract or or white splatters. 
give me your opinion. I'll glue it together first while well, you're thinking. Splatter white, that's just what I was thinking, Deborah, and I've got some. If I can get the glue to come out, we'll get the card and we'll just splatter on the whole card. Why not? Because if I splatter white, no one will know the difference between the stray embossing powder. That will look more intended. Because of course it was. But any imperfections are opportunities to embellish more. I'm actually rather enjoyed this. I've still got to try and get some steps to do, but it's just way too hot. Hopefully I've got enough energy left to uh, go for a walk in the evening. Today's my Thursday's usually my stamping up day, so I have filmed five videos, four for a class, oh no six, four for a class, two for video hops that are coming out soon and designed my card for next month's Stampin' Up colour challenge, the SU colour challenge group. I've designed my card for that already. Um, and I've come live here today, so I've been a busy Stampin' Up demonstrator today. But that was because I took myself off with my husband yesterday. So here we go, so let's get the white splatters out. Let's move the pens. Put them to the side with all the things that need Oops. she's wrecking the place. Right, that's not okay, that's got a colour in it now. Here's we we'll, right, here's an old watercolour brush and I need some water. I had water somewhere. Oh, there's water in here. The, the nib is got colour in it, so I don't want to use the nib. It's fun. So I'm just going to... I, I've got a bit of craft white ink in here already because I was using it for something else, which I can't show you at the moment. Now, I've added some water to that to make it a bit... runny. And then I just, with well, this pen I'll do the trick. Right, so. Uh! <laughs> Jana strikes again. Right. That wasn't my cleverest move, was it? But never mind. Right. Oh, thank you, Caroline. Right. I'm just going to. It's far too splattery. Too big a brush. You knew that I was going to do something like that, didn't you? See if I can just soak that one up a wee bit. <laughs> Splatter city, oh well. We just have to make it look intended. Snowed on the flowers. This one's better because it's finer. It will dry in and it will be less obvious. You <laughs> shouldn't let me lose. That's a mess. <laughs> oh, thank you, Caroline. <laughs> Why well, it's not magic anymore, is it? <laughs> It's perfect because you shared it with me and we all laughed together. It'd probably be okay when it dries. Shall I give it a bit of a blast with the heat tool? Which of course then I'll undo the glue. 
Yeah, it's Janice's signature. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> what? It's coming down now. It's coming down. It's not quite as bad. It is drying back quite a bit. So we can live with that. But anyway, did you enjoy the magic? I've even splattered cards that haven't been made yet. So yes, I have a job to do now and that's clean my desk. Yeah, that's true. Although that one's on the black. These, look at me, my arm and everything. <laughs> you gotta love it. So it was fun. And again, at the end of the day, it's not really, it's not really about the finished product. It's about the process. Oh, hi, Gina. I have come in very late. Just, yeah, I hope you laughed with me, folks. Because laughter is so much good therapy and so is crafting. So yeah, so I hope you will go and watch on the replay, Gina, or rewind it. Yeah, <laughs> I did too much splatter at the end, but I think it will dry back quite a bit, and I think it will be okay. Just have to be, but we enjoyed making it. So thank you everyone for coming in. Thank you for everyone who watches on replay, and I do hope you laugh with us, because that's what it's all about. Um, please press play. No, pre please, please, please subscribe. Press the bell icon so that you get to know when I'm coming on again. And then you'll get to see what mess I can make again. <laughs> I've enjoyed the process. I've enjoyed the company. And that's the bit that matters, isn't it? I'll probably get thumbs down for this, but hey, not from you guys, because I know you've enjoyed it. <laughs> But whatever. Thank you very much, everyone. Um, enjoy the rest of your day, whatever you're doing. Please do check back. I'll let you have a quick look if you didn't see. Oh, oh no, I wasn't. Where was I playing with this then? I played with this. Oh, it's an, I wasn't on my Facebook Live this morning. Facebook Live this morning, I did these wee note cards. So that will be available in a little while on U YouTube. So we did eight on a Facebook hour, which was great. I stamped a full sheet and then chopped it up and we just went with it. So that was great. So thanks everybody. We'll see you soon. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your day, afternoon, evening, morning, whatever it is, wherever you are. And do come into the Jazzle Dazzle and Friends Craft Share group and share what you do any crafts you do particularly if you have a go at this and maybe you can show me how to do splatter a little bit more delicately anyway take care i can't find my way out where's the door <laughs>